recognize it? A street that's never quiet within, but as another day dawns, outwardly comes to life. Yes, it's Fleet Street. But how many of you know the inside story on the stories you read? First, come with us to Reuters, the great international news agency. To Reuters by teleprinter, phone, cable, wireless, 24 hours a day, comes news from all over the world. Watch how a typist takes down a message from a correspondent on the continent. Speed and, of course, accuracy are what count here, for Reuters serve newspapers, and newspapers have edition deadlines. The copy taster sizes up the story, then passes it to a skilled sub-editor who checks and trims it. And now, over to a conference at one of the big national newspapers, The Daily Sketch. At the head of the table sits the editor, on his left, the managing editor, on his right, the assistant editor. Now meet ex-detective superintendent Robert Fabian. Although he's not a journalist, Fabian advises the Empire News on cases of crimes of outstanding interest. And talking of crime, who is this with the stern stride of a London bobby? None other than Arthur Helliwell, hard-hitting columnist of the people on his Soho beat. Helliwell, like most successful columnists, has a network of contact men, and it looks as if these two are giving him a tip that'll lead to something big. Yes, it's the press show for a new film. That's Peter Noble, journalist and broadcaster, and here's Dennis Myers, film columnist of the people. The critic of the Daily Express, Leonard Mosley, is here too, and so is actress Diana Decker. Critic Mosley chats with film star Veronica Hurst. International car racing also makes news. Ace driver Reg Parnell is interviewed by Basil Cardew, motoring correspondent of the Daily Express. Two more ready to go, and that's Sterling Moss getting into his seat. And now to Chelsea for some sports writers. It's the evening paper men for whom speed counts most, for they have several editions to catch. But Harold Palmer of the Evening Standard is a veteran at this. With an ashtray like that, a cigar like this, you'd expect to meet Jack Solomon. And that's Peter Wilson of the Daily Mirror quizzing him. This is just one of those routine calls that Wilson, like all specialist writers, must make to learn what's happening in his sphere. It seems proper that the impressive Nelson's column should provide a backcloth to Hannon Swaffer at home, for he's known as the Pope of Fleet Street. He's a real old-timer, you can tell that from the way he writes his copy in longhand, who spent half a century in Fleet Street. The friend and confidant of great literary figures, Shaw, for example, Swaffer is also liked and respected by politicians such as Mr. Attlee. His cuttings books are a library in themselves, and before the war, his output was a million words a year. And here's the latest edition of the London Evening Papers being loaded for distribution. Although they're called London Evenings, these papers are published throughout the day in seven to eight editions. And they're distributed in places as far away as Land's End to a news-hungry public. For, in proportion to our population, the sale of newspapers in Britain is greater than that in any other country in the world.